take three, part whatever, I'll count the videos when I'm done. Um, all right, so repeat that last bit. Um, the, the concept that killing a self causes enough harm to others to justify subjecting them to treatment against their will extends the right to life way too far. Uh, no person outside myself should have an, in, 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 an inalienable right to my life. No. No. No, you don't. No person has an inalienable right to my life. None. Suicide prevention organizations and, and programs and support systems are almost as abhorrent to me as conversion therapy programs. Almost. As, as a person who has attempted and failed to take my own life, suicide prevention organizations disgust me. The time I came closest to becoming violent toward a neighbor, um, toward, okay, well, let me just read it as I have it. The time I came closest to becoming violent towards my neighbor across the street was when he told me, it gets better, in response to my venting when asked once how I was doing. I'm not sure whether he knew he was quoting a suicide prevention organization slogan at me or not. Regardless, it was an unwelcome interaction. And I, I have a feeling that in the past, in my when I get into an overconfident, oh wow, I'm actually enjoying this experience kind of moment, I'm concerned that I may have reinforced things like that. Um, it is not, those are not my values. Um, I don't like for people to ask how I'm doing for three reasons and I get so frustrated at the, the grocery store is high anxiety for me as as a poor person as a person who has spent most of 40 years in either at or near poverty level um, I have I have a lot of privilege let me not let me not minimize the level of privilege I have in addition to white privilege my parents were military, and that does, there is privilege to that. I have traveled a lot. Um, I've lived different places. But I have had also a lot of restrictions. So I had, I had access to military health care as a child um, and as a young person. But now that also has created some con concerns uh, that will come up later because I know that poor people and military people are used for experiments. Um, all right, so the three reasons I don't like to be asked how I'm doing. I don't like to lie. I don't like to lie. And so when rando person out in the streets asks me how I'm doing, I either ignore it or say something that's not true or end up oversharing to a random stranger about how bizarre, bizarre is the wrong word. This is why I'm trying to stay on script. Uh, so I don't like to lie. I don't like to spread my toxicity. Um, I, I care about quality of life and I don't, I don't want to be rude and mean to people unless they enjoy it. Um, and I don't, I do not want the, I do not want people to take the rare moments where I can offer a positive response out of context to create an illusion 
that I don't live on the brink of harming others most of the time I'm awake. That is unfair both to me and to other people. So don't ask me how I'm doing. It's not good. It's not good. It hasn't been good for 30 years. It's not good. I'm not doing good. I'm not doing well. There are moments I appreciate in life and I appreciate the support of my life partner. And I, I, I appreciate the support of people to, who reach out to me, but don't ask me how I'm doing. Fucking hate that question. Fucking ridiculous. I also do not like people invading my personal space to provide unrequested assistance. Another neighbor called the police on me in September 2020 because I sat in front of the lawnmower she was using to mow three strips into my lawn, which she took up after as a habit after I told her she was permanently unwelcome on my property. And this is not that story either, so I'm trying not to focus too much on it, but I have a, a very brief um, anecdote to provide a little context. I sat in peaceful protest while she stood over me, screaming, screaming in my face that I need Jesus and that I need to stop making her children think she's mean. I do not interact with her children. I try not to interact with her for long redacted story that lasts as long as I've lived in this fucking house. When I extended my legs slowly to avoid kicking her, but still put some distance between her unmasked face and my masked face, as she was spitting on me through her vitriol, she challenged me to kick her which I very much wanted to do, very much. And then she threw one of her children's toys at me. I sat in front of the lawnmower until the police arrived, seething at myself for remembering my mask, but leaving my phone, AKA recording device in the house when I ran out to stop her from invading my space yet again. Maybe I'll share the rest of that story another time. I would have loved to see the body camera footage, but I did not request it within what I think was the time frame when I checked. I, I checked for the, um, the information, I, and then I didn't do the request when I checked for the information. Forgot about it again until it was past the time. And I'm not sure I got the right answer because my research skills leave a lot to be desired. Um, which is part of why I would never go back to teaching um, and why I would be hesitant to take a role in any sort of research project or process. Um, but I'm glad to share my material um, for social justice witnessing, for entertainment, for educational purposes. Those are my three. Um, I do make my work Creative Commons, so you are technically welcome to use it for other things. Um, you are not, not, not to use it for attempts at treatment. Yeah, and I That'll come later. Um, probably in the next part, though. So I'll try to finish this paragraph up. Um, so I'm glad to share my material for social justice witnessing, entertainment, and educational purposes when I think I can bring something to a useful and meaningful enough draft state. And so that's how I feel about this piece that's being cut into multiple parts. Um, 